The Young Bucks are taking an AEW hiatus. Rhea Ripley has been pulled from WWE events. And we have an update on Vikingo and Chris Bay following TNA Impact injuries. Stay tuned for all the wrestling news. It's been quite a, a fun week for the Young Bucks, really. They've, they've lost their tag team titles and now they get to work from home. That was the last shot that we saw of the Bucks yeah. on Fright Night Dynamite. Well, after losing those titles, they picked up all their belongings and told the on-air authority figure, Christopher Daniels, that they would be working from home for the foreseeable future. Uh, this is uh, The report about this has come out from PW Insider confirming that this is the end of the current Young Bucks storyline and that there are no plans for Matt or Nicholas Jackson to return to TV for some time for following this. It's a very strange, I mean, I say strange. We've known for some time that their contracts, which they signed not that long ago, has a certain amount of dates on it. Have they run out of dates? It would seem that way. Yeah. Because they're only meant to compete at cert for a certain number of matches or appear at a certain number of dates per year. And it would feel as if like they've just run out of dates. And it feels kind of, for me, like a, a weird way to end that storyline. Great for private party. Great that they've got that big win over the Young Bucks. But just having it on a random moment here where the, the Bucks just decide that's, that's it. I, I guarantee it's because they know that Kenny Omega is close to being ready to come back but it feels like there's still room there for something with the bucks versus kenny omega well i think when you've got like the blackpool combat club the new and improved bcc running roughshod yeah. over aew you've now got the hurt syndicate as part of aew you've got a lot of conflicting authorities pushing eh? faction brands there and is. i feel like having matthew and nicholas in there might still continue to muddy the waters and also how can we miss you if you're always there that is very true that is very true maybe we just need some time off from them maybe we'll be delighted when they come back I wonder who else could probably do with maybe taking a little bit of a break from television. Hi, guys! Hi guys. Uh, uh, just, he, I'm yeah. just saying, could Jericho work from home for a little bit He as well? should take a, a page out of the Young Bucks books here. Uh, just a thought. Just yeah, a thought. I, I'm really intrigued to see how this affects Okada and Jack Perry. I saw someone on Reddit saying it's like they're the two friends of a friend group that never hang out with each other outside <laughs> of the friend group. <laughs> I, I can't see them getting on in character. Like, <laughs> this is that scene uh, from Friends with Ross and Phoebe's boyfriend, where they yeah. go around to each other's house. It's like, why are, they, house. why are they hanging out? They're, I don't believe that they're going to hang out together. Maybe this will give Okada some edge going into the Continental Classic. We shall see. But sticking with AEW just now, we do have an, a contract update for an AEW original, don't we, Tom? Yeah, Dustin Rhodes' AEW contract is up. Uh, it was, according to Fightful, expiring uh, at the start of October, and the two are still going back and forth uh, on getting a new deal in. So whilst he is done, he isn't necessarily done with AEW, because he's still Ring of Honor, yeah. tag team and six-man tag team champion. Yeah, he's got a lot of gold around his waist, <laughs> yeah. and I can't, I can't see him going anywhere at the moment, I feel like he's part of that company. They want him as part of that company. He probably wants to be part of that company. Uh, we do know that negotiations between the two sides have been ongoing, but it was claimed that nothing has been done or finalized as of yet. I think it's only a matter of time. Do we not see maybe him popping back up in WWE? The fact, that, the fact that Cody there. is there, perhaps. My I just brother. don't see at this point in this stage, he will get the same quality of push mm. in WWE that he does in AEW right now. True. He is, as you said, he's got two two different championship belts. I can't see that happening in WWE as much as it would be cool to have him against Cody again as a team with Cody. I think AEW is where Dustin Rhodes belongs I think the best right that now. we get from maybe a Dustin Rhodes WWE return would be Goldust in the Hall of Fame. Oh, it'd be gold dust he, in the deserves, Hall of Fame. He, he deserves the Hall of Fame for yeah. sure. Uh, but we've got an update also on Rhea Ripley, of course. Uh, she is out of action now for an undisclosed amount of time with an injury with PW Insider sharing some details about Rhea's broken orbital bone, uh, saying WWE announced yesterday that Rhea Ripley suffered a broken orbital bone. The belief among those we've spoken with is that it will likely happen. It likely happened in a headbutt spot to Rhea confronting Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan on the 21st of October. 
1st of October Raw. Ripley did not appear on the 28th edition of Raw, uh, and the angle to take her out of action on this past Tuesday's NXT was a late addition to the show, likely filmed there because it was in Orlando, and Ripley would not have to fly to do the angle. I uh, also told Ripley has been pulled from this weekend's Raw taping in Saudi Arabia as well. That makes a lot of sense. Doesn't need to fly. They're not going to use her. Uh, of course, Raw is, as it says there, is taping uh, in, in Saudi Arabia this weekend. Yeah, so I had a feeling that we would have Rhea Ripley get involved in the match for the women's crown yeah. jewel, the Jazzle, and consequently, that's not going to happen now, and uh, she won't be at Raw either, Woods. And it doesn't look as if she's booked for any live events going no. forward either. I think it's a case of keeping Rhea off the road for the time being. Uh, I said this to Andrew yesterday, I'll say it to you today, Fraser. I think we know who's winning the women's 2025 Royal Rumble. <laughs> Do you, who, do you think you think she's going to be back in time? This think she's going to be back brutality. in time. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. I feel like I feel like she's going to be out a little bit longer than that. Just to, to, a broken orbital bone. I'm not sure how long it takes oh. to recover. Let us know in the comments below how long it takes to recover. You're a doctor. You're a doctor. Please let us know. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 off the top of my head, I'm not quite sure, but I don't know if I, if she's back for the rumble. Mm. Absolutely, give her the win or give it to Charlotte. She needs something. There is that as she well. She could something. bless her. She hasn't won anything in ages. Uh, of course, Crown Jewel is this weekend, <laughs> and uh, you can join Andrew and Adam for live reactions tomorrow. They'll be what happened at and Patreon exclusive WTF moments from Ross coming over the weekend as well. Well, mo moving over to some updates on some recent injuries. Obviously, there's been a lot of news this week about Vikingo and Chris Bass. We do have an update on both of them just now. Starting with Vikingo, uh, he shared a medical update on Instagram after he was stretched out of the TNA Impact tapings last week. He revealed that he'd had a lucky escape with this one with no uh, muscle tears or ligaments were affected, uh, saying, I have to uh, I have to rest for five days while the swelling goes down, then start rehabilitation until I'm 100% recovered. I will be out for 15 to 20 days. He's managed to get off uh, fairly okay there. Yeah, which there was is really a good lot to see. of concern that uh, there'd be something bigger with Vikingo because he's not long come back from injury no. already. So uh, to see him getting stretched off was a real big concern. Uh, but the bigger injury from that weekend, the one that uh, has been sort of discussed all over Twitter, we've seen a lot of people sharing uh, GoFundMes for, is is Chris Bay. And TNA has provide, provided an update on Chris Bay following his emergency neck surgery on Sunday saying. Saying Chris Bay began his rehabilitation from neck surgery on Sunday, October 27th, and he will remain in Detroit with multiple daily rehab sessions under the direction of specialists. He continues to show daily improvements that bring a smile to the face of those around him and to Bay himself. He has family members by his side daily, along with close friends, TNA wrestling management, and members of the TNA roster. Ace Austin has been by Bay's side since Sunday night's in-ring accident. And he said, I was in the ring with Chris when the incident occurred last Sunday and I've been by his side ever since. It was just as normal as anything we've done in the ring thousands of times. Everything was alright until it wasn't. Each moment is precious and I'm cherishing every moment I've had in the ring and around the world with Chris and every moment I have by his side right now. There will be a lot of hard work ahead but we don't know any other kind of work. Chris won't be alone for any of this. He's going to be surrounded by love and support from every single one of us. The road to recovery is going to be as easy as A, B, C. Really nice to see he's got that support there from his tag team partner, of course, and the, the, the entire wrestling world. The, the GoFundMe that has been put together to raise money to pay for his rehabilitation, his surgery, uh, has, has raised almost $100,000. Absolutely incredible. Which is incredible. You see so many people sharing it. So it's, it's all the best to Chris Bay. It sounds like it's a, a very, very tough time for him, um, but we hope he gets uh, better soon. Sending all the love to Chris Bay. Uh, yesterday, you dropped a, a fabulous new episode of I Worst did, Shows Ever. Indeed, Worst Shows Ever. Because it was Halloween, it's now November, but because it was Halloween last night, we decided to look at Halloween Havoc 2000. <laughs> Oh, it's a stinker. It's, it's it's a stinker. It's pretty pretty bad, Tom. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> it's, it's I wouldn't. I would recommend watching the worst shows. Just don't watch Halloween Havoc 2000 in your own free time. It's it's a genuine waste of time. Uh, but one thing that I guarantee you will enjoy is tonight on Twitch.tv forward slash Cultaholic. You can join me and Adam Cole, baby, the Chugs, at 6 p.m. Uh, GMT. We will be playing Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. I can't wait. We've been trying to get this put together for a while. 
but Adam Cole's joining us. I love the the burgeoning friendship between Fraser and the Chugs, the Chugs. via Twitch. But Twitch, it's just little raids here and there. Yeah. It's like it's like little stolen glances, longing <laughs> looks. That's that sort of thing. You Tonight, know? full penetration. Absolutely. Join us <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash Cultaholic for exactly what Tom said. There. <laughs> Adam Cole and Fraser Port on Carholic. You love to see it. Baby. You love to oh, see yeah. it. Oh yeah. See you later. <laughs>